Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to, I guess this is the third part of our Bella Box. Um, I was just asking Kathy, I'm like, what do we call this Bella Box extravaganza? Yeah, Bella Box Day. Um, okay. <laughs> Kathy and I are having our own little party down here while everyone else is having their party up in Logan. So welcome to the Sandy store and Stacy. And I get to do the bookmark for the Bella Box. I um, am so excited. I love the Bella Box. In fact, last week when uh, we got the, the um, announcement that they were shipping, I was kind of bummed because I was going on vacation last week. And of course, the day I left for vacation was the day my Bella Box came to my front door. So I had to have my cute niece go pick it up because I'm like, no one can steal that box. That's like gold, right? Our Bella boxes are like gold. And then a couple days later, I'm like, okay, Barb, you need to show me what's in the Bella box. <laughs> Cause I couldn't wait. I just am like, I'm not good with surprises. I want to know what's in it. So she um, sent me the pictures of what was in it. And I'm like, great. And then I'm like, give me the easiest project <laughs> because I was out of town. I got back. Let's see, Saturday, late Saturday night, had to rest on Sunday, stitch out things on Monday. And so now I'm here. But we're going to be working on the cute little bookmarks. And I'm going to have Kathy, who is my um, film filmer, show you what I've done. Okay, so we've got three bookmarks. You've got the You Can. You've got the creatively, Creativity Takes Courage. And I did something different with this one. And then you've got do it for you. And so we've got the three bookmarks. Now, earlier they showed you this cute little box with all our goodies in it. And also in there, if you opened it up and looked, you had these cute little pins and magnets. And so what I did for Creative Takes Courage, I made that into a pin. So I just hot glued it and then I can just wear this on my work apron. So I decided not to make that one into a bookmark, but a pin, and I made the other two bookmarks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the flamingo one because who doesn't love flamingos? They're so cute, and I love pink. So we're gonna do the pink flamingo. So that's the one that we're gonna do today in the short little time that I have with you. And so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need, uh, I think it was five inches or eight inches. It was eight inches of the ribbon. If you're going to do the ribbon, you don't have to. Again, you can do a pin like I did on this one, or you can do the magnet, but I am going to do the bookmark. You're going to need your felt that was in your um, box and then a back. I'm going to use the pink stripes and it was two and a half by five. You're also going to need some fusible backing to put on the back of our fabric here and then your pink leather for your flamingo and then two one and a half by one and a half pink um, squares for the you can but I'm going to confess something to you I did not read the instructions when I was making this and I used the leather instead and I kind of liked it so but you can use the the, the pink um, fabric all right, so let's go ahead. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our back fabric. We're gonna take our feasible backing from Kimberbell. And I forgot, let's heat it up. If you've watched um, Tuesday's Tips with Kimberbell, they always say heat up your fabric first before you put the backing on. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna heat that up. I'm gonna place my feasible backing on it. And just let it sit for a few minutes. Gonna turn it over and do the same thing. Just let it sit there, give it a little bit of pressure. And there we go, got our fusible backing on. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our five by seven hoop. And again, we're gonna use our water wash away stabilizer and our five by seven hoop. And we're just gonna go ahead and hoop that really quick. I always like when I don't have to hoop my 
fabric in makes it so much easier. Okay, so we've got our fabric hooped in. Now we're gonna pull up our design, and like I said, I'm going to do the you can file. And it says in our instructions to use a um, visible thread. So I just have pink in my thread, and let me turn my machine on here. Got my thread. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and stitch out our placement line for our felt. And you'll notice in these instructions, you're gonna be changing your thread a lot. So be aware, and I always like to go and highlight where I have thread changes. I loved um, Kathy's, or not Kathy, I was looking at Kathy, um, Sandra's idea of putting them in a little portfolio um, file thing and to travel with. So, but what I like to do with my instructions is I always like highlight where I have my thread changes just because sometimes I'm in a hurry and I don't read the instructions thoroughly, which I should. So, so it says right here, change to a visible thread, which I did, we did our placement line. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this from our machine, come over to a flat surface and I'm gonna take my mint felt and I'm going to make sure it covers all of those lines. And then of course, I'm so in love with the Kimberbell tape and the dispenser. Oh my gosh, I was so excited for this. Cuts it perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna just tape it on, covering it. And then I'm gonna go back to my machine and we're gonna do the tack down line. And I'm just leaving it pink because that will be our, our cut line eventually. So I'm not even gonna change my thread. I'm just gonna leave it as pink. And it's just gonna do our bookmark cut line. And then as I read ahead in my instructions, it's gonna say, I'm gonna need to change my thread color to a desired thread color. So as I'm looking at the pattern, I can tell that it's my flamingo's legs. So I'm gonna use black. So I'm gonna have my black thread ready to go. So I can quickly change it. And I'm, I'm sure Chris or Sandra or someone has mentioned that when you change your thread, that it's always a good idea to cut your thread from the top and then pull it through to keep your tension discs from getting all linty and um, messed up. So always cut from the top and then pull it through. All right. So let's go ahead and do our flamingo legs and feet detail. I hope everyone's having a fun day. It's really hot here in Utah. I was in California this past week at Mammoth Lakes up by Yosemite and it was so cool. It was like 85 at the high, nice summer breeze, sitting by the lakes, so fun. <laughs> and I get back here and I'm like sweating. <laughs> and it's only like, what? Well, it's noon now, but this morning it was still just as hot. Okay, and I am going to cut that little piece of thread away and the next thing actually I'm going to cut my little jump stitches here that didn't get cut cut those okay so far we look at our instructions again it says we're going to do the outline of our flamingo so to change to a desired thread color and the color I've chosen to do my flamingo is called rose sunset I didn't have the list of the threads that are in a little thread kit so I just picked what I had at home and I chose rose sunset from Hemingworth all right so now what we're gonna do 
is we're just going to stitch out the body of our flamingo. I just love this flamingo. He's so cute. So, so cute. Okay. And I'm just going to that out just a little bit and I'm going to grab my pink leather and I'm just going to place it just kind of in this little corner right here and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to use some of this pink leather for the U in the can so I'm trying to save on my leather Oh yes, you could definitely do more than one at a time. If you, I know that Sandra kind of mentioned that in the last one, that when she did her big banner, she used a bigger hoop. So yeah, you could use like your eight by 10, or eight by 10, eight by 12, and your nine and a half by 14, and you could do multiple at a time. Definitely. Okay, now we're gonna, ooh, I think that's a little too close. I need to move that down just a little bit. Yeah, if I was making a bunch of them, I would definitely do more than one at a time. And then on my machine, I can color sort, so it would stitch them all at the same, um, like it would stitch all the legs at one time, then stitch all the flamingo bodies at one time. Oh, okay, Bellabox coupon code is Bellabox15. It should be on your screen. That's good all day today and tomorrow. So fun. In the, in the, in the Kimberbell pop-up shop, I have my, Kathy's like, <laughs> don't forget to mention this, because <laughs> I will. So yeah, go to the pop-up shop and you can get more leather, more Kimberbell felt. We have so many beautiful colors of this felt. All right, so here's my cute little flamingo and I am just going to use my coarse, my Kimberbell snips. And I am just gonna quickly and carefully cut away my leather. I need my glasses on so I can see. There it is. And this is going to be a raw edge applique, so just be careful not to cut those stitches. But these Kimberbell scissors are amazing. I know you guys hear us say that all the time, and you're probably sick of us saying that, but they really are. They just cut so smoothly. Be careful not to cut the felt. That's easy to get it caught in there. All right, so there's our cute little flamingo. Oh, I just love him. And then I'm gonna actually save these, this piece. So look, I could probably get two out of just this one little piece. So Kimberbell, thanks for being so generous with your fabrics and products. Okay, so our next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do his little face. So we're gonna change it to a white. So let's go ahead and change our thread to our white. And I love these bookmarks. They're just a quick little stitch out. Just changing the thread colors. Okay, so now we're going to just do his top.
top part of his beak, it looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my black ready because that's going to be the beak and his eyes. So once again, we're going to change our thread color to black or whatever color you desire. That's the one thing I really loved about this Bella box is that Kimberbell gave us so much fabric that we could choose what we want to do. Whatever colors. For the banner, for the folio, for the pillow. We could customize it to how we want it, which I love. Though I will admit I am a follow the leader type of person. <laughs> I have to do it exactly as they do it. But I actually think I'm going to do the cute little pillow that Chris did this morning. I think I'm going to do it in like pinks and reds. Okay. So I'm just going to trim off this little extra. I got a jump stitch right in there that I want to cut. You notice I'm still keeping it on a flat surface. I didn't pull it all the way out, but it's on the bed of my machine, so it's flat, so it doesn't pop out of my hoop. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the outline of where our wording is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and change my thread to pink. So we'll go ahead and change it to pink and do our outline, our placement line for our boxes. Oh, forgot to put the garage door down. All right, let's see what comments we've got here. Yeah, Sharon, I agree with you. Flamingo, I know you said your sister loves flamingos. I love flamingos. They're so cute. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our um, labels down, our placement labels. So you can either use just the pink material that they gave you and you can tape that down or like i said i didn't follow the instructions the first time and i'm not going to follow them this time i'm going to use i like the leather i just love the look of the leather so i'm going to put a piece of the leather here and the other piece up there but again if you want to use the fabric you can use the fabric and i'm just going to put a little bit of tape just to kind of hold it. Okay, so we've got our tape in. And now we're just gonna do our tack down line. I just figure I might as well use my leather. Unless I was going to make another flamingo, then I would have saved it for the flamingo. But I kind of just pet my fabric just to make sure it's smoothed out. All right. So once again, we're just going to take this gently out of our machine 
and trim away at our fabric, remove our tape. And then I think I'll use the duck bill on this one. Again, it's raw edge applique, so you don't want to trim your stitches. So just be careful and be careful not just trim your, actually I'm going to use these. And don't trim your felt. All right, and then we'll do the top one. All right. Okay, so we've got that done. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the U and the can in. And we are almost done, ladies. Such a quick and easy project. Okay, I've changed my thread to black. What stabilizer am I using? I'm using the Kimberbell Wash Away Stabilizer. So it's just gonna stitch the U in the can. And then if you read further on in your instructions, um, you'll see that when you're gonna do this this last stitch out right here, it tells you to chain, make sure your bobbin thread. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> Closer to me. There we go. It said to change your bobbin thread to match your top thread. So I have my bobbin thread wound to match my top thread. So it's got that same sea foam on the back. I used, I think they used a mint green. I'm using for that part of the project, I'm going to use the sea foam. I wanted it to kind of match a little bit better, so I use sea foam for that last stitch out. But again, you can use pink, you can keep it pink, you can do whatever you want, or the mint green to give it a little pop. All right, let's cut those extra threads. Are there directions to do two or three in a larger hoop in the direction? No, there is not um, instructions on how to do two or three. Yeah, it depends on how your machine, like ours, we would just, there's an add button and we would just add another um, bookmark on that same page on the big hoop. And that's how you do it with baby lock. And I'm sure other machines are that kind of same way. All right, so we've got the U in the can. And if you look at your instructions right here, it says, now turn the hoop to the back. You got all your cute little uh, threads. I know you don't need to cut them, but that's just me. I don't know why. I just don't like having a bunch of th thread tails on the back. Ann Beale used to tease me about that because I would always just have to cut them. I don't know why. Just me. Okay. Now you're going to take your thread or your thread, your ribbon. You're going to fold it in half and you're going to put it in that little, I was going to say cove, that they, for your placement line that you stitched out originally. And I'm just gonna put a piece of tape right there. So it's just right in where that little cutout is, okay? The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fabric that you've chosen to put on the back 
And you're just going to place it right on top so it covers everything. And once again, you're just going to use some Kimberbell tape. Tape down the corners. And like to do is I like to turn it around and then I really push on the tape to make sure it's sticking. Okay, and then this is where you're going to change your thread, your bobbin and your top thread, because it's going to do that tack down line inside of this pink line right here all the way around. So change your bobbin thread to whatever desired color you want. I'm going to put it to my seafoam green. And then change my top also to the seafoam. And now we're just going to do our placement or our tack down. And it's going to go right in the middle inside that pink line. So we'll go ahead and do our placement line. Now, if you were going to do like your magnet or your pin, you wouldn't have to worry about doing, you know, the ribbon and all that. You would just go ahead and put the background fabric on and just skip to this step. Okay, and my machine just sung to me, telling me it was done. And we're going to come over to our cutting table. Once again, I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to take my, oops, I meant to take the hoop and put that away, not the project. Okay, and then I'm just going to, where's my other, oh well. I'm just going to trim away this excess stabilizer. And then I'm going to be really careful not to trim off my ribbon here. Then that would definitely make it into something else, not a bookmark. Okay, so here's my design. Now, I know um, Sandra mentioned on the banner using pinking shears. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to take my pinking shears and I'm just going to cut on that first stitched line that our felt placement line. Mine has pink on it. I'm just going to use my shears and I'm just going to cut right along that line. Trying to make sure I stay in focus here. And then again, I'm going to be really careful here because the tendency is just to go like that and cut it. And then you just cut off your cute little bookmark ribbon. So I'm just going to fold that down. Cut that one. Turn it over, do that. Well, I'm going to do it this way so I can kind of line up those peaks and valleys. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There is your cute little um, you can bookmark. And then you can, you know, snip the top of it to give it a little decoration. So yeah, there is the you can bookmark. Perfect. And again, you can do the uh, creativity takes courage. Um, I did this one is just made out of the fabric is 
fabric on both sides. And I actually, in my stars right here, I use metallic thread. So if you use metallic thread, make sure, again, you slow down your machine. King Star is the best um, metallic thread that I've used for my machine. So that's what I recommend. And there's that bookmark. So looks like, Kathy, we're, we're good. We ended exactly on time. So I hope you um, learned something today. It's pretty quick and easy and simple um, project. And the next one, we just, we, you know, we wanted to ease you into the Bella box because the next two projects, those are going to be the really fun ones and learning different new techniques. I'm so excited for um, Lisa to teach us how to use, to make the portfolios. If I wasn't working, I'd be sitting at my, at my sewing machine, sewing along right with her so I could um, learn how to do that. But I guess I'll watch this later. Same with the tea bag or tea, what is it called? Tea towel. <laughs> tea towel tote. Say that three times fast. Anyway, again, the coupon code is BellBox15. Good for today, good for tomorrow. Um, enjoy your afternoon. Grab a quick treat. And what time are they starting? Are they starting right now? Okay, I'm going to send it over on over to Lisa and Logan. Have a great afternoon. <laughs>